Good morning. Welcome to Thought for the Day on Monday the 30th of August. And I've chosen to read the psalm this morning. It's Psalm 96. This well-known psalm was written and sung by David when they brought the Ark of the Covenant into Jerusalem. Tradition says it was sung again when Israel dedicated the new temple after returning from exile in Babylon. And it's easy to imagine that it would be raised in praise to God when Jesus returns to reign on earth. It is a song of worship and it teaches us how to worship. I'm reading this morning from the New International Version. Sing to the Lord, sing a new song. Sing to the Lord, all the earth. Sing to the Lord, praise his name. Proclaim his salvation day after day. Declare his glory among the nations, his marvellous deeds among all peoples. For great is the Lord and most worthy of praise. He is to be feared above all gods. For all the gods of the nations are idols, but the Lord made the heavens. Splendour and majesty are before him. Strength and glory are in his sanctuary. Ascribe to the Lord, all you families of nations. Ascribe to the Lord glory and strength. Ascribe to the Lord the glory due his name. Bring an offering and come into his courts. Worship the Lord in the splendour of his holiness. Tremble before him all the earth. Say among the nations, the Lord reigns. <clears throat> the world is firmly established and it cannot be moved. He will judge the peoples with equity. Let the heavens rejoice, let the earth be glad. Let the sea resound and all that is in it. Let the fields be jubilant and everything in them. Let all the trees of the forest sing for joy. Let all creation rejoice before the Lord, for he comes, he comes to judge the earth. He will judge the world in righteousness and the people in his faithfulness. I love being in nature and find that it restores my soul and turns my mind to, to the Lord, creator of all. Recently, I've been fortunate to be able to spend some time in the highlands of Scotland and at the coast in Cornwall, and the grandeur and expanse of God's creation shown in two very different ways. Both have an immense beauty of their own. The psalm really resonates with me. I often find that lyrics and tunes of hymns or songs pop into my head while I, whilst I'm out walking or being in the countryside. Sometimes we not, do not need to be told, sing to the Lord. It seems to happen unconsciously, as though coming up from somewhere deep in my body or being. A recognition of needing to praise the Lord and singing releases our emotions to worship. Singing is a way of sharing or declaring God's glory. After so very long, it is wonderful to be able to sing again in our church services, to worship and praise God alongside others. Last Sunday during the service at Vincent Church, both of the main doors were wide open. I was sitting near the doors and so saw a couple of walkers hesitate and stop as they heard the start of our last hymn. They sat down on the benches inside the porch and listened to the whole of the hymn. We were singing Amazing Grace and declaring God's love, glory and grace to all. At the end of the hymn, they got up and continued on their way. But I pray that the Holy Spirit used that song to touch their hearts, to bless them and to draw them closer to God, to make them think on who he is and what he has done. Praise lifts up God's nature and character. This psalm reminds, of, reminds us of how worthy of our praise God is and how we should remember and acknowledge God's characteristics and dwell on them. The type of offering described by the psalmist here in verse eight is a thank offering and we can't truly celebrate the worth of our Saviour and Creator without being moved to give back to Him. How do I respond to His generosity? At 
at this time when there's so much focus on climate change and the damage that has been done to our world, let us remember God created our world and we must do what we can to help restore things. Spending time in nature reminds us of the urgency to alter our lifestyles and choices. The usual general interpretation of the last section of the psalm from verse 10 is in the light of celebrating Christ's return. A day is coming when all the world will be united in worship and praise. On the day when Christ returns and God judges the earth, all believers will worship as one and creation will join in worship. Let the heavens rejoice, let the earth be glad, let the sea resound and all that is in it. Let the fields be jubilant and everything in them. Then all the trees of the forest will sing for joy. They will sing before the Lord, for he comes, he comes to judge the earth. But I also think it is for our time now. Be thankful to God for all that he has given us to enjoy now. Take time to look up into the night sky, to see the starlit heavens rejoice. Notice how the earth is glad and the seasons come and go. Listen to the sea resound and watch the waves roll in. Look at the countryside. The fields are jubilant and yield their harvest and support life. Listen to the forests singing for joy. All creation rejoices and sings their own praises to God. We are included in this, so let our hearts and mouths sing out and proclaim his goodness and faithfulness today. May you have a super day this bank holiday Monday, whatever your plans.